Hello viewers, Super GT here, and Formula One is finally back on the channel. Will I make it past four episodes this year? Or will the Sebastian Vettel death stare scare me into the Shadow Realm? Only time will tell. Ah, yeah, here we go. Let's choose our character, our guy, or gal. We're going to go with a guy. We're going to go with this guy. Look at this. Hell yeah. That's what I want to look like. And we're going to go along with the lines of Taki Inui. Any F1 enthusiasts will know that this guy is the true hero, the true MVP of Formula 1. Forget Senna, forget Schumacher. This guy got run over by the medical car once and got a penalty for it. So this is this is the true pinnacle of F1. I'm going to choose number 13. Unlucky for some, but not me. In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula... Yeah, okay, cheers, Anthony. Um, right, we're going to choose our team then. So, of course, in F1 2019, there is the Formula 2 for a couple of races. Um, so all the teams are equal in terms of performance, but you can just choose your driver academy, which you want to be affiliated with, and that will help you get a better sort of reputation, a better response for signing with those teams. Russian Times new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. Okay, so for, for this first event around Catalonia, you have this weird little mechanical problem and you're kind of fighting through to the end. Now this is my first time playing F1 in a very long time, pretty much since F1 2018 when that game came out, which was uh, last year of course. And I will have to say that my ability is going to take some while, take a while to get back up to scratch. I did change the view here a little bit, and I am going to be running cockpit view for the uh, for the uh, for the career mode, as I feel as though this actually gives you a really good sort of feeling with the car, a better feeling with the car. As typically the cars kind of feel as though they're on ice, but this kind of gave me a bit better responsiveness. So we actually crossed the line to finish 19th, Taki Inui rounding out the grid as per usual and we actually get a trophy somehow. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. Hey, look, I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. Can't say where the road goes. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that, or if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression. But I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Okay, so the drama is very real here in, in Formula 2. Now we head around uh, Red Bull Ring. So you have a couple of these little scenarios. So the first one at Catalunya, my car was absolutely shocking. I'm pretty sure the front wing was broken. I was locking up into every turn. I didn't know if it was me that was bad, or if it was the car. Turns out it was a bit of both. Um, but we finally try again here at Red Bull Ring with actually uh, some grip and some downforce. It actually feels quite good when uh, you actually get it all hooked up. So again, going with the cockpit view, I feel as though that's the best uh, view. For me, anyway. I know you can't quite see as much, but um, I feel as though you just get uh, you just feel more at one with the car compared to, let's say, the T-cam or the the, uh, the normal view that most people use on, on the roll bar. So I went with this, and it, as just as I say, that goes really wide at the final corner. But still, again, getting used to this game, getting used to the physics, which are just a lot different than many other uh, racing games. So by lap 38 here, so two to go after this one, 
hunting down 10th place, which would give us a solitary point. So let's see if we can go about getting past Gunther here in what looks like the uh, Formula 2 Force India, whatever the team name is. I, um, my memory escapes me at this exact moment. My Formula 2 memory or knowledge is kind of average at best, I would say. So once we get into the Formula 1, that's where things will hopefully get a little bit better for us. We're coming down the back straight then, up the hill towards the big hairpin at the top. And he's going to leave the door open slightly, enough for me to send it up the inside. And kindly take the invitation to take over 10th place. Taki Anui doing bits here in Austria. Good stuff. But it's unlikely I'm going to be able to gain any more positions from here as... The next couple of positions are maybe about five or six seconds ahead. So it's going to be unlikely I'm going to catch Russell. And by the end, that proved to be the case as Lando Norris takes the win and we finish 10. Matty Gallagher intensifies. There we are. Look at him go. One day, hopefully, I can get in the game, but not just yet. And now a look at the team stats. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. It seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? Um, well, I always want to start by saying a big thank you to all this, this crowd. I mean, you guys have been amazing. Hey, Devon. Devon, stop! Not now, I'm busy. Hey! What are you doing out there? Seriously? I'm gonna celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No! Wow. The drama is very apparent in F1 2019. Formula 2. It's all kicking off in Formula 2. Normally it does because you got all the young guns, the hot shots, want to make it into F1. And, well, you know, it, it just descends into an episode of EastEnders. So we come to the final race of the season here at Nubai, Yas Marina. And I'm just going to jump to the start because I'm an absolute idiot. And uh, we can try and, okay, do the same thing again. And uh, this time, that was completely, obviously, look, I, I was turning left. I was doing everything I could to avoid him there, obviously. We'll try again. This time, okay, not the best launch, but at least it was on jump start. At least we haven't rammed someone into the wall. Okay, up the inside of Fukuzumi. Are we going to get the job done into turn two? Yes, just slotting ahead into ninth place behind Latifi. And they're coming down towards the chicane here. The space opens up. And that's quite an easy move, quite an easy send, and get the job done. Now up behind Lando Norris, bit of contact as we come into the hairpin. So a couple of actual F1 drivers ahead of us there. So Albon, Russell, and Norris in a couple of posi uh, positions ahead. So we're going to look to try to follow them through into Formula 1 for the 2019 season. As we now have Latifi on our tail, it looks to be very racy coming into the chicane here at the end of the long straight so there's plenty of curb lots of curbs characterize this circuit it's just really trying to find a good balance on them uh, to maximize your lap time so as um, a bit of an f1 noob i you know i have played this game I've, i i i mean i've been a big fan of the series i go for a massive dive bomb to be fair it wasn't a dive bomb i just break too late i didn't know what i was breaking but I've, I've played uh, the F1 series since about F1 2010, which was the first one by Codemaster, I think. I've played many of them. I am vaguely familiar. But um, I think this is one of those games that you really do have to play quite a lot to really get everything into your head. Because there is quite a lot to think about when it comes to uh, just the way to, uh, to drive the car, the strategy, which tyres to choose, the ERS deployment, the... Uh, the fuel mix there's lots of little things to think about lots of li lots of little things and it can be quite mentally demanding so any tips absolutely appreciated um, currently I'm playing on level 96 in terms of the AI difficulty um, which is fairly high but um, obviously there's still room for improvement there I have a yellow flag here coming into the hotel section 
at Yas Marina. Again, still yellow. I'm not seeing any crashes or anything just yet. But then, just on the left-hand side there, we had uh, Luca Giotto with a mechanical issue. So again, a position up into P7 as we come across the line to end lap number six. Good consistency there. Just three thousandths of a second off my PB. So my PB not amazing, 155.4. And I've already seen quite a lot of people go quicker, way quicker than that by, by a couple of seconds. But I am just using the stock setup, not really focusing on that too much at the moment. But again, if you have any tips for setups, that kind of thing, then please do let me know. And I'll try to incorporate that into my career. But for now, just using the stock setup, just trying to really build up consistency, build up speed uh, gen uh, gently as we improve at the game and ease our way into the career also it's kind of i suppose you would be a bit like that if you're in formula 2 you don't want to make too many mistakes you don't want to overexert yourself um, and, and do lots of silly uncharacteristic mistakes so it's a good idea sometimes just to build up nice and nice and gently and then get into your career that way so now lap eight up behind uh, norris and russell so two f1 drivers of 2019 and into the DRS zone for the first time in a couple of laps haven't really been anywhere near close enough to get that DRS and it's very difficult to overtake through this section of the circuit pretty much impossible unless you just send it from two million miles back and shove them out of the way which is always a possibility always a distinct possibility just to do that if you're feeling like pushing uh, pulling pushing throwing all your toys out of crap. So through the final turn, and again, does the car get a little bit loose? So it, it does feel weird this game compared to other games I play, especially normally playing Gran Turismo. Uh, that game has a very heavy feeling physics. This one has very light feeling physics. So you have to be very, very, uh, very, very soft on the throttle, very, very soft on the brake, and very, very soft on, on, the, on the steering as well. Now coming up here, we're just going to uncharacteristically, well I say that, but it's actually very characteristic, we're just going to shove Lando Norris off the circuit and just get just get a warning. So obviously the Canada stewards aren't here, they look upon that thing quite favourably it seems. So just push your opponents off the track, do it in such a way that the the stewards think it's an accident and jobs are good. I'm up into P6 and no penalty at all. So obviously no penalty, therefore that's clean. That's the benchmark, guys. Uh, you're allowed to just to slide your opponents out of the track by kind of tipping them round. And George Russell um, with a mechanical, so foreshadowing maybe his 2019 year where he can run around at the back and finish in 19th place. He's going to be doing that nice and early here. As uh, we move up into P5, a fairly undeserved P5 based on how average I've been driving but um, Taki Inui is going to take any position he can get. So, final lap here, moving on to lap number 11. A fairly uneventful race, apart from those couple of laps there, lap 7, 8, 9, that kind of area of the race. That's where things began to kick off. Now, one thing I do have to definitely improve is the uh, braking. So I was quite often too hard on the brake, not releasing the brake. You kind of have to, as you go into the corner, hard on the brake, but then release it gently as you begin to turn. Otherwise, you will begin to lock up quite a lot. And I was locking up that inside tyre quite a lot. And you can see on the bottom right, the inside, uh, the, sort of the front tyres are getting a lot more worn out. But there we go. A fifth place. I'll quite happily take that. There were questions at the start of the and unfortunately, this absolute bell end won the title. Devon Butler. Yeah, it had to be him, didn't it? But I'm pretty sure this is this little F2 story is fairly scripted uh, so Mr Butler with with the win Mr Drama Boy uh, hugging his team so fair play to him I suppose but we're going to have plenty more EastEnders esque um, episodes later on in our career so you see the standings there finishing second we only have to do three races or the end of three races as uh, we finish just 11 points off good day today let's have your take on it so that was a thrilling end to the season. How was the race for you? 
I think Ericsson hit us. Right today. Congratulations on the championship as well. Well, I'm sure you thought you had me for a while, but I guess your luck just didn't hold out. I don't know what your plans are, but uh, let me give you some friendly advice. Don't try following me. Ah, welcome. Come on in. Let's get you a Formula One seat. Okay, so this is the part where you choose your team. So, of course, we went with the Ferrari driver program, and that gives us a better value to Rich, Energy, Haas, and Alpha, and Ferrari. And I fancy a bit of Rich Energy. Hashtag copyright infringement team. So we're going to go with them. I fancy a bit of a challenge in the midfield. So it's quite a high, quite a high, high ranked team. We're going to go with Rich Energy and see how that takes us in the next episode. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. For the first episode, next up, we'll head to Australia for the first race of the career. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.